part is known as the stamen and the female reproductive part is known as the pistil. Look at Raja and Vijay, how they are running after the butterflies. Where there are so many flowers, it is obvious to have a lot of butterflies and honeybees. Yes, because they get to suck the nectar of so many flowers. Remember, we had studied about the interdependence in the first chapter of science? Yes, the honeybees suck nectar from the flowers and in return help pollinating the flowers. Yes, friends, we honeybees and butterflies really like the nectar of the flowers. The male part of this plant, stamen, has a stigma where the pollen grains are found. When other insects or eyes sit on the flowers, the pollen grains get stuck to our body. Then when we sit on some other flower, the pollen grains fall on them. In this way, the pollen grains are transported from the anther to the stigma. Sometimes the pollen grains fall on the same flower stigma. This is known as self-pollination. Other times the pollen grains fall on the stigma of some other flower. This is known as cross-pollination. Look at this flower. This is the stigma. Look, there is a bud-like structure here. What is this? Yes, even this flower has a part like this. I remember seeing something similar in the science book too. Why don't we ask the teacher about it? Why don't we draw these flowers in our drawing books and label them? Friends, why don't you also make a picture of a flower and label it? Till then, I shall suck some nectar from some flowers. Children, now all of you come here. So, how was the observation? Look, teacher, I have made this drawing and labeled it. Teacher, I picked up a few flowers. I noticed a bulb-like part in most of them. Look, can you please tell us what it is? Yes, sure, Meena. Come, let us all look at this flower. Look, this is the anther. And this is the stigma. This, here is the ovary. When the pollen reaches the stigma, they travel through a tube-like structure to the ovary. Here, the fertilization takes place. The ovary becomes the fruit and the other parts of the flower withers and falls off. It is very interesting. I used to think that the role of the flower is only to provide a good smell. But it is because of the smell of the flowers that the honeybees and butterflies are attracted towards them. What is this on your shirt, Sham? Looks like some flowers or dried seeds. Does this mean you are also helping in pollination? Did all of you observe these things which have got stuck to Sham's shirt? Now all of you think about this, ask, read and then come and tell me tomorrow about what you researched. So friends, the flowers are very important for all of us. Actually, if there are no flowers, there would be no seeds, no plants at all. My friends and I help in pollination. Have you ever thought what would happen if we did not pollinate? Now we shall meet in the next video.